What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to recap all of the content we're going to be getting in the next operation, Spectre Rising for Blackout Battle Royale, which is set to come out tomorrow on April the 30th. This is probably the most excited I've been for an operation in Blackout, mainly because the map design for Blackout is getting changed up a little bit, but not entirely, but for sure it's going to play pretty different. And I have on screen the new map layout after Spectre C4 went off to destroy the Hydro dam causing a flood across the entire map there are some parts of the blackout map that have enough water for the u-boats to actually be used which is pretty dang cool like in the operation trailer we can see a squad rolling around factory which i think this is absolutely pretty damn crazy um the u-boats really aren't as used as, as much as the muscle cars or the suvs in blackout so i do think they're going to be heavily used now that water is pretty much covering a good portion of the map also, a good part of the farm location in between Firing Range and Rivertown is flooded. Um, the ship on cargo docks has been flipped over now, spilling a few of those crates out into the sea. And also, Hijacked has been pushed closer to construction sites. So definitely, I think more of that northern location region is going to have an influx of players. I kind of feel that since Hijacked was too far in the water, players maybe were turned off to swim out there to go to that area. Um, but yeah, again, Hijacked is now hit landfall, and it should be a very popular location. Now, we do have two new LTMs coming, one of which is called Bounty Hunter, and from what it seems like, it's kind of similar to the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet mode from Fortnite, where you could pick up the Infinity Gauntlet, become Thanos, and fight your way to be last alive. In Bounty Hunter, though, you have to find Spectre Shadow Blade, and then you assassinate your way to victory by transforming into Spectre. But now, when you use Spectre Shadow Blade, you switch into a third person view. Along with finding the Blade and Spectre Supply Crate, you can pick up level 3 armor, smoke grenades, um, a bunch of healing items, and other perks that basically make you super, super stealthy. And Spectre also comes with an increased movement speed and the ability to see footprints of enemies nearby, which I think is pretty dang cool. And Spectre can also carry a regular ranged weapon along with the Shadow Blade. Now, the player with the most amount of kills after each new collapse is going to be marked by Spectre with a little bounty target on him. And Spectre can only see that target if you do happen to kill the enemy as Spectre or kill Spectre himself or herself, whichever gender it identifies as, then you're going to be rewarded with a supply drop. But what I think is absolutely amazing, making this mode probably super, super fun, is this fatal finishing animation that Spectre can perform to kill off a down player. So this new Bounty Hunter mode sounds like a lot of fun for sure. And then we're also going to be getting Ground War in Blackout, which is basically a team of 50 versus another team of 50. So 50 v 50. It sounds like a lot of fun if you ask me. And so yeah, those are two new LTMs and of course the new Blackout Battle Royale map. Now the operation itself is going to be a little bit different this time around. So think of it as being separated into two parts. The first part, which starts tomorrow, is going to contain 50 tiers and they're going to last for a shorter period of time and then come in the summer update in June another 50 set of tiers are going to roll out and I guess the way they're doing this is to make sure that there's going to be a more balanced fair pace of content because over the past couple of operations everyone's been completing everything in that operation very very early leaving nothing to really grind for so I see why they did it and I think it should work out for the best next up we do have a total of seven new characters and they are old man frank woods which can be unlocked for all players with the black ops pass and then we have a misty sergey sarah hall blackjack and then david mason so i assume that these characters can be unlocked by completing challenges in game or through special orders in the black market hopefully all of them can be unlocked in game without paying cod points but knowing the trend recently of treyarch i assume at least two are going to be available through special orders or by buying cod points also there's going to be new weapons added like the ballistic knife the tiger shark lmg and the nifo ot melee weapon there's also going to be new equipment to use like the dart score streak for multiplayer which basically is going to provide an aero recon for your squad just like the rcxd car 
I'm not really a big fan of the RC card because I don't think it can really help your team out as much, but the dart is definitely going to provide more of a bird's eye view for you and your team from the sky rather than on the ground like the RC car. And then there's also going to be weapon charms coming in the black market, which basically add another layer of customization. And then there is what I think is pretty dang cool. They're calling it death effect. So um, say if you get killed by someone in blackout or multiplayer, then instead of blood coming out, you can have like confetti coming out. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's going to add more customization for sure. And so yeah, that should be coming out. Um, within a couple days here. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure if it's going to go live then, but definitely very, very soon here. Um, please tell me your thoughts about that down below in the comments. A lot of people don't really care too much about death effects or the weapon charms, but I, I think it's pretty dang cool. Um, but hopefully there's not like an influx of these items in supply drops to the point where that's all we're basically getting um, But those are my thoughts. Please tell me about yours down below in the comments and There's also going to be more weapons a new vehicle and new equipment to add it to blackout later on in the operation Creating an even more diverse pool of items across the map Of course, there's also going to be more mark 2 weapons mastercraft weapons um, character skins and, and just so so much more and then there's also a new blackout event happening in this operation at some point, but not much detail on this has been announced. I guess at this point we can only speculate what will happen. Maybe it could be something like a teaser for the next operation, or heck, maybe even something Modern Warfare 4 related or Call of Duty 2019 related, who knows. Either way, we should be getting more information about this later on in the operation. Um, and then the next operation is going to be the Days of Summer, and there's going to be more blackout modes, a new map update, new weapons and so so much more so guys like i said this is probably the most excited i've been for a new operation in black ops 4 um the blackout changes are pretty dang cool i really like a lot of the stuff that they brought over um i just kind of wish though for multiplayer that there would have been like a new specialist character like sure specter sounds very cool and all and he's one of my favorite characters in black ops 3 but I just want something new, um, and then WMD is a multiplayer map that, that's returning. WMD also a very, very fun map, but I just really want new stuff. And I guess that's why I'm playing more Blackout than multiplayer right now, because Blackout is adding so much more new content, and of course the Battle Royale aspect is very addicting. And so yeah, that's just my thoughts guys on the operation. Please tell me yours down below in the comments. I'm gonna leave a link down below to the operation trailer and the little roadmap guide that Treyarch posted on their blog post in case you guys wanna read more about zombies or multiplayer. So it's there for you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. I love y'all so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.